Hello, my name is Noel Scanlon. I'm the Executive Director of Nursing of County Durham and Darlington NHS Foundation Trust. And welcome to my second video podcast. Since I last spoke to you, we've had International Nurses Day and International Day of the Midwife. Almost 500 nurses, midwives and healthcare assistants participated in two professional conferences, an awards evening and a range of other activities to celebrate what nurses and midwives do well every day. We've heard presentations on everything from tissue viability to dementia care, perinatal mental health to innovations in community nursing from overseas. Indeed, one of the award winners has already come back from her travel scholarship, this time to Sweden. So if you'd like to participate in next year's International Nurses Day or International Day of the Midwife activities, start making your plans now. We want to expand it, make it even better, and in particular appeal to some specialties who may find some of the more general work less relevant. This has been a difficult time over the last month for all of us. We've had terrorist outrages in Manchester and London and a dreadful fire in North Kensington. What does that mean for you? Well, our emergency plans are well prepared and rehearsed with our partner agencies. But we should also be cognizant of the risk of seeing extremist behaviour in our midst. Have you had your prevent training lately? If you haven't, please speak to your line manager. And if you have concerns around people's behaviour in any way, please escalate that. Individuals have been reported to the authorities, both patients and staff, and they have been taken seriously. It's led to investigations and the reassurance that what we've observed will be taken seriously and be acted upon. This far into the financial year, we've also seen something of a rise in healthcare associated infection. Many of these infections arise in complex patients who are having very complicated treatments, but the basics remain. Adherence to hand hygiene protocols, for MRSA, screening, anti-colonisation treatment, not being just prescribed, but ensuring the patient does actually take it. And in relation to Clostridium difficile, being observant for changes in bowel habit and taking samples where appropriate. We have made some simple errors, such as sending specimens in the wrong container, or in some cases not screwing down the lid of the container, which means that the sample has spilled and couldn't be processed. These things lead to delays in treatment and can be very serious. So pay attention to the basics, and I'm certain that we'll continue to keep our patients safe. The last time I spoke to you, I told you about the likelihood that we would receive a CQC inspection sometime in the first quarter of the year. We're now in June and they haven't yet arrived. But we have been advised that the CQC have changed their inspection regime and therefore it is very likely we'll be the first trust in the northeast to receive a visit under the new inspection regime, which is likely to come into effect in the next few weeks. So as I said last time, constant vigilance. We need to be ready for when the inspectors come in order to show them what we do well and celebrate what we are excellent at and not be afraid to be very forthcoming when asked about the excellent care we give every day. Finally, last time I also spoke about never events. Never events, as you know, are very serious incidents that arise when we have breakdowns in procedure or communication, which invariably lead to harm for patients. They should, by definition, never happen. Yet we are still seeing some evidence that our procedures and our protocols and our communication is not as good as it should be. Staff are being more forthcoming and they are speaking up in order to keep the rest of the team and the patient safe. And that's what I'd encourage you to continue to do. Report, observe, speak up, and make sure that everyone is performing care to the best of their ability. Where you have doubts, share those uncertainties. We are only as strong as the weakest member of our team. But as a team working together, we can improve, we can show that we can deliver safe, reliable care all of the time. Until I speak to you again, thank you very much for listening.